Well, here I am on approach to a private sanctuary, something which I have made sacred all for my own purposes and only for my own purposes. But I think it's an interesting insight to lead you through the way how I did this, because I think somehow it'll also tell us something about how early mankind found beautiful places and somehow felt them to be sacred. And there it is, there's my sacred space. Really, it's situated between a very sacred spot called the Bass Rock and on the other side what is a conical hill. One of the conical hills so famous in these parts of the world. This one in specific is Baraclaw and I've written about him in Land of the Gods. Baraclaw and Bass Rock are both said to have been linked to the creator goddess, the Kalach. And that was her abode. So if I can guide you through my sacred space here, I normally go down to that beautiful standalone rock over there and touch it, saying that as I enter the sacred space behind it, that I leave all the worries of the world behind me and that I dedicate myself to contemplation and quiet space. Then somewhere over there are pools sometimes filled with water. And I'm pretty sure today we will find some which is one with fish filled with water. Well, I dip my hand in them and make the signs of the cross so that I open myself to God and say, I am open to you, please listen to me. Now, on a beautiful day like this, I'm actually very lucky because out there, and I hope you can see this, is actually a very ancient symbol of the God himself, the sun. And so quite often I face the sun and speak to the sun and give my prayer. Now that being a mound of creation, a primeval hill, people originally probably didn't walk it and probably found a sanctuary nearby from where they worshipped it and spoke to their god, the creator goddess, the Kalach. But I've chosen another location, one which is far more private and one which is purely my own. But if I can enlist hundreds or thousands of people, then really the end result would be exactly the same. And so this is the place where I normally sit. I can see the Bath Rock, I can see the sun, and I can see a very special mound of creation. It is a sacred landscape, but amidst this sacred landscape, this is my sacred spot, where I enter in communion with the world and with God, symbolized by a very shiny object in the sky. <laughs> 